I heard the bang as it happened and then saw just a, a quick little flash. John Cruiser was on JetBlue flight 1206 last night, headed for a meeting in New York. I'm sitting right in the second row, so right by the window, so I saw it all kind of happen. And, you know, at that moment, everybody kind of looked at each other and said something weird, something different going on here than normal. That something turned out to be a bird, something a team of wildlife workers tries very hard to prevent from landing in their airfield. Travelers typically have enough stress. And we definitely want to take this stress away from them. Cages like this raptor cage trap birds of prey using live starlings as bait. Uh, the raptor would come down to investigate who's inside of the trap. They would perch on here and it gives way and closes over the top of them. Don't worry, the starlings, they're not affected, and those birds they trap are then relocated. For other birds making an airfield their own landing spot, these propane cannons shoot loud bangs of air. And six workers patrol the airfield daily, even using thermal imaging at night. The overall objective of the program is reduce risk that wildlife poses to safe air aircraft operations. It's not something that happens every day. So far this year, the FAA says 45 bird strikes, including last night's, have happened at PDX. Um, very few of those do result in damage to the aircraft, uh, but on average, we'd say it's about 75 strikes per year. But again, only one or two of those might cause damage. John Cruiser's flight is now a statistic one he's safely on the ground from and home. Definitely glad to be home. The kids were really happy to see me. They weren't expecting to, but uh, it was a nice surprise for them in the morning. <laughs> I can only imagine. Uh, bird prevention or animal prevention starts with preventing other animals as well. So they've, prevented, they've built fence. If you've ever been out here, you'll see a chain link fence around the uh, airport. It's dug into the ground to prevent coyotes from coming in and chasing after those birds. They also have the grass cut to a certain length, so that way the bird's main food source, voles, don't like it. Back to you. Well, we're glad those workers are there watching out for us. Thank you, Devin.